The rate of HIV among 16,000 volunteers in Thailand reduced by one third over a period of three and a half years in the individuals that had received the vaccine. One year after vaccination, actually 60% of the volunteers in that trial were protected. This success meant that there was a possibility to find suitable products that would work in Africa. Studies to redesign the vaccine to work on the African continent where it began, and now the Thai vaccine will be tested in South Africa and Mozambique. In southern Africa, there's only a single subtype of HIV, a single type that circulates, just like in Thailand. In Uganda, there are many different types of HIV that circulate, so it will be very difficult to take the vaccine that worked in Thailand and retool it to work for East Africa or for that matter for West Africa. An opportunity according to Colonel Nelson, the director of U.S. military HIV research program to look into newer vaccines that can potentially work everywhere. When that testing is done, Uganda will definitely be um, a part of those studies. Uganda has for long been part of the prevention activities, not just with vaccines but drugs and with microbicides. We think Uganda will continue to help lead Africa into a, an AIDS-free future. At the moment, a new study has started, which is a few weeks old in the country, as well as in Kenya and Tanzania, to last 18 months with 80 volunteers, most of whom have now been vaccinated. You ask first as to whether or not the vaccine would show any promise in terms of blood tests that you would measure. So we're still not really close to testing a vaccine for efficacy in Uganda. But I think we're going to be there probably in about four years. Behind me are members, part of a larger team here in Uganda that are working tirelessly to see to it that maybe in the near future, Uganda could contribute to finding a vaccine against HIV. As much as you can try with, with drugs and, and, and condoms and other prevention activities, ultimately it's going to take a vaccine to beat this infectious disease. For now, hopes to have Uganda an AIDS-free country are still grim until a vaccine is found. Florence Nalimba, NTV.